Okay, uh, here with the Cage Warriors featherweight champion, Conor McGregor, just being announced today on uh, MMA Junkie that not only do you have a change of opponent for New Year's Eve, but going up a weight class and contesting the Cage Warriors uh, world lightweight belt. Um, give, us, give us your thoughts on the new weight class, new opponent, and anything else. Yeah, I feel... Uh I feel good. It's good to get the opportunity to fight for the, the lightweight belt, and they're giving me a, giving me a big opportunity. You know, when Jim, uh, my last opponent, pulled out, just some bad news. You know, and I, I think like if you stay, if you stay positive, when you get some bad news, and just keep keep positive, and good news will follow soon after. And that's basically what happened. You know, Jim, Jim pulled out. And, now they uh, give me the chance to play for the Lakers, so feeling good. Great. Uh, at the moment, you're in Iceland training at Mjolnir. See the sign there behind you. How's it been going? How's how's the training here? Yeah, really good. Some some high level guys and training with Gunnar Nelson and all the guys here. Really good. Some high level guys over here. Uh, just getting back to the uh, New Year's Eve fight. Um, have you any plans moving forward? Is he, are you going to defend both belts, or is lightweight the new weight now, or what's going on? Um, I don't know. It's just, whatever happens, happens. Just find it below weight. It's great. I don't have to cut too much weight over uh, over the Christmas. But whatever happens, happens. We'll see see what happens in the future. You know, it's going to be nice to have two belts, and I'd like to keep the two belts. You know, so see what happens. And uh, an article came out today on um, mixedmartialarts.com. Uh, was naming a bunch of guys that should be in the UFC at this stage, and you were you were uh, the number one pick for um, I don't know whether it was Ireland or Europe or uh, any thoughts on the UFC for 2013? Well, hopefully, I mean it's to have the two belts and the two different weight to be a two weight world champion is something that's never been done before. No, no, no Irish man. Is ever, I was the first Irish man to win a to win a world title, and now I'm going to be the first guy. In, Probably in European history, maybe to win a, to hold two uh, two world titles in two different uh, weight divisions at the same time. So hopefully UFC early 2014 and join my teammate Gunnar. Okay, and uh, just finally on on your new opponent, any any thoughts on him? Have you seen him? Any 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 thoughts on that? Um, I watched like a minute. I watched much too much I don't watch too much of them anyways like Bruce Lee said there's no uh, there's no opponent um, I've watched like a minute and a half of the uh, of the fourth round I might watch like the first minute the first minute and a half of the fourth round and I won't watch too much after that so I'm just gonna go in the way I always go in open mind be spontaneous and just let things happen naturally okay and uh, any any sponsors or anybody you want to thank before we wrap um, it up? I'd like to thank um, Don Cavanagh, my coach, all the guys here on the owner, all the guys I'm training with, they're helping me out, helping me out a lot over here. My team back home in SPG, I'm looking forward to getting home and getting some sparring with all, all the guys down down in SPG. And I have big shots, sports nutrition for the supplements, and everyone, the friends, family, the whole lot. Okay, uh, thanks for that, and uh, all the best. <laughs>